I'm Dr. John. So on August 11th, this happened. Hi everyone, and welcome to Galaxy Unpacked. Today, we're excited to introduce the Galaxy Watch 4 series. Samsung released their latest Galaxy smartwatches, and Apple is supposed to release their Apple watches in the next month or two. Fitbit is now owned by Google, and it will be awesome to see a Wear OS smartwatch from them whenever that gets released. All of these companies have been steadily adding more and more features into their smartwatches over the last few years. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the impacts of smartwatches on your health and the healthcare system in general. The first is the most obvious one, and it's exercise tracking. Fitbit started the trend of tracking your exercises, and now most of the high-end smartwatches start automatically tracking exercises and almost always gets right as to what kind of exercises you're doing. Closing those rings on Apple Watches and Android Watches are so satisfying and provides a great motivation to exercise and get moving. The second is sleep tracking. And this has been offered in smartwatches for a long time. And as the battery technology has improved, more and more smartwatches started offering sleep tracking capabilities. Most smartwatches tell you how well you have slept overnight by tracking your movement and position while sleeping. Some of them give you graphs, while others give you a score on how well you have slept. The third feature is notifications. Smartphones have made it easy to access everything at our fingertips. Smartwatches have made it even faster because you don't even have to take your phone out of your pocket to do some things. Pebble Watch actually pioneered viewing notifications and responding to messages on your smartwatches. Having access to information can make your life a little bit easier, but when the, all that information starts overburdening you, it can actually increase your anxiety and can make other mental disorders worse. Some smartwatches offer breathing and mindfulness activities to counter that, which is a great feature to use. For a long time, most smartwatches just focused on these three core features. But then in September of 2018, this happened. Apple Watch Series 4, everything about it has been redesigned and re-engineered. Apple Watch can now screen your heart rhythm in the background and it sends you a notification if it detects an irregular rhythm that appears to be atrial fibrillation. And other smartwatch manufacturers followed suit. Today, most of the high-end smartwatches offer this feature. There is some research done on this, but the data is still pretty new. But one thing is clear, asymptomatic patients who do not have any heart issues should not be using these devices to monitor their heart rhythms as it can lead to unnecessary and potentially harmful medical procedures. However, it may prove itself helpful in patients who have a known heart diagnosis and symptoms. But we need more data to validate this claim. Don't rely on these devices alone for your health. Go talk to your doctor if you have any concerns. Next, let's talk about the blood oxygen monitoring feature. Since the pandemic started, more and more people have been concerned about their blood oxygen levels. And more and more companies are offering blood oxygen monitoring in their smartwatches. And they can be helpful to optimize your workouts. But a recent study has shown that blood oxygen monitoring and even blood pressure levels are not very accurate on most smartwatches. So if you have any problems with low blood oxygen levels or high blood pressures, please obtain a medical grade monitor to check them. And lastly, I want to talk about fall detection. Some of the high-end smartwatches offer this feature. And essentially, they use their accelerometer to detect a hard impact and basically checks on you with a notification. If you don't tap or interact with the notification, it will call emergency services on your behalf and give them your location. This is an amazing feature in theory because it can potentially save a lot of lives by reducing the amount of time it takes for EMS to arrive for help. But more research needs to be done on this to show how much it affects real people's lives. So smartwatches offer a lot of awesome features and I would definitely recommend getting one if you don't already have one. But before purchasing them, know that they're 
meant to just give you a general guideline of your health and not meant to be medical grade devices. If you have any concerns or symptoms, talk to your friendly neighborhood doctor about it. So that's it for this week's video. If you like this video, share with your friends. If you want to learn more about how Apple is changing healthcare, go check out my video about it. Link is in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.